So Rex has decided that he will go first. So this is the fastest qualifier in the final. This is Rex Bryant and Glenn Mason. Supergas is the boat. Now this puts a little bit of added pressure on Andrew Guthrie and uh, Janine Ingram because this man's been in the 56s for the last three runs. Oh, and he just makes a slight mistake there. You heard the engine note change. Just got off the gas fraction. He got a big gulp of fuel. Now he's uh, back to his composed best as Rex Bryant. He's a three-time national champion. He's performing in front of what's left of his home crowd. And he is always fast and he always has a little bit left. He does it time and time again to us. Let's see what he can do now. He begins to run up toward the finish combination. Left, right, back to the top end of the course now. Full throttle all the way up there. White pointer hull. Small black Chevy engine. He's been in the engine a little bit since Wanganui. Now he comes around heading towards the finish line through the left-right combination. Full throttle pass the timing beam. What's the time going to be? It'll need to be in the 56s. 56-5-1 for Rex Ryan and Glenn Mason. Craig Highland builds the engine. Watch this Peter Coey's here got the go. hull, so he's got the best of the combinations. Let's see what he can do here. So it's Hullmaker on Hullmaker. We're already seeing Rex Ryan do a 56-51 in his white pointer. What can Andrew Guthrie do in the brand new sprint tech? and Glenn Mason in Supergas and Andrew Guthrie and Janine Ingram in their first final 57-27. Two out of two, mate. Yeah, yeah, well, it's a, you know, there was a new challenge there today and um, some different competitors stepped up this week and, man, man, I don't know what's, what's, on, the, what's on, the, on the platter for next time, you know. So this is the Bow Repairs Superboat final. We've got a green flag. It'll be Duncan Wilson and Aaron Nilsson sitting in the navigator's seat. Away they go. And watch for some flames out of the exhaust. It's that dark here in Gisborne. You can probably see them. The boat is yet another white pointer. In fact, we've got a white pointer final because Brian Smith will be next up. And his is a white pointer as well, part of the AMF. H2O full throttle racing team, this brand new team that runs a boat in every class as we watch Duncan Wilson just get a little untidy in lethal injection. Now he goes streaking up the top end of the course round the big sweepers, just getting off the throttle just a fraction. You see the head bobbing around from the G-forces down into the first combination and then back up to the top of the course again. Through the chicane they go. Peddling it hard, first full season in the superboats for Duncan Wilson, just on and off the throttle, feathering it as he comes up to the finish line now. He's been around about the minute, he's got to be in the 56s if he wants a sniff of it. And he is in the 56s, 56-16. So, once again, he goes faster. He is going to be a force to be reckoned with as the championship gains momentum. Well, the word now is that there's only be the one run. It will be Brian Smith's, and it will be on mechanical timing, so someone's found a stopwatch. Oh, now he's not too sure when to start because, of course, when the flag drops, I guess that's when the so stopwatch starts, but that's not when he would have crossed the beam. So there is a bit of a disadvantage to the mechanical timing. But this is Brian Smith. He has run in the 54s. He's run in the 56s quite consistently. I think he'd be a bit unsettled because he was ready to go, and then, of course, the run wasn't timed. He had to do it all over again. Got to regather his thoughts, get his race face back on. He's got that now, though. As he 
heads down past our comrades of position down to the uh, bottom end of the course. Heads through the first combination of corners now rocketing right back up the straight to the top end through the sweeper, down through the uh, Z crossing and then down back towards us again. got every right to question the timing because if the timing starts at the flag fall that's different to where it starts for the electronic timing we'll see in a minute will he be under the 56 16 of duncan wilson that's what wilson did in lethal injection down towards the finish section now heading down and he will stop the clock as they go across the line the mechanical stopwatch will stop and we will wait and hear what the time is will it be better than the 56 16 that's the time he's looking to beat 56-39, so Brian Smith doesn't win the Bow Repairs final, Duncan and it goes to Duncan Wilson, his first win in Superboats, and only his first full season in the class, he was in the final, at round number one in Wanganui, he finished second to Brian Smith, this time he turns the tables, and Lethal Injection will go from Gisborne and head to round three in Auckland as the winner here in round two. Yeah, no, rap. yeah, no, had a great day. Really happy with the way things went. It's just pity that the um, way things finished up with the timing here for Brian. But uh, you know, we posted a time, he posted his time, even though it was manual. So we're happy with the way it went.